This is kind of a weird question. They've, they've done some strange things here, and I know a lot of us are going to be intimidated by this. Um, let's focus first on that word inscribed. A square is inscribed in a circle. It just means let's draw a circle as best you can on our scrap paper, and then the square is inscribed in the circle means the square is inside the circle, and it kind of just like touches it. So it's not going to go out of it in any way. It's going to be like the four corners are just kind of hitting it. Now I know <laughs> this is an ugly square, but it's not going to be a big deal if our drawing is off. So that's what it's supposed to look like. The radius of the circle is this weird thing. So the, the most important thing when we have these um, circle questions is if you're going to draw a radius, draw a radius that counts. So don't just draw some random thing that's gonna kinda just go from left to right. Start in the center and then connect it to a dot, right? So connect it to something on the outside, one of these corners, that's probably much more useful. And if we do that twice, we can see that we're actually forming another triangle or a triangle and triangles are really, really helpful when we have uh, shapes in the SAT. In this case, it's also very special because it is a right triangle and the angles in here are 45. Just think about it, right? Each corner of the square is 90, and when we draw that radius, we're kind of splitting that 90 in half. So the 45 is important because that triangle is a special triangle that has special rules. So what we're told is that the radius is this 20 root two over two. So I'm gonna put that here, 20 root two over two. And what we're trying to find is the side of the square. So that's actually this side right here. And that is what is called the hypotenuse of the triangle that we built. And that's what all this is about. So basically what we now know is the side is this 20 root two over two. And this is a formula telling us how we can get the hypotenuse. Basically, we take the side, and that's what this S is, and we multiply it by the square root of 2. So that's what we're being asked to do here. This is not as complicated as it may look. So what we do is we take our 20 root 2 over 2, and we multiply it by the square root of 2. So a couple of things are going to happen here. First of all, we're going to be able to cross out the two root 2s, right? So... Um, the, or not cross it out per se, I guess, the square root of two times the square root of two is just two. So these, these two things come together, I'm trying to see how I can show this, and just make it 20 times two over two. So these two things are a two, right? That's what square root means, is it's like, well, what times itself gives us a number? So we're, we're taking the square root of two, which if you put that in your calculator, it's gonna be a very messy number. But you can also do the square root of two times square root of two in your calculator and it's gonna get the nice number of two because even though the square root is messy, the whole point of a square root is that if you multiply it by itself, it gets you back to where you started. So it gets us back to two. And now we have a two on the top and a two on the bottom that reduce. And so we're just left with 20. So this ends up being kind of a, a really easy question mathematically. It's just set up in a way to intimidate us. Um, it is the last question in the section. So, you know, it is hard, um, but I think it's still gettable. We do need to know the vocab. We do need to be comfortable drawing that picture and recognizing that we've got one of these special triangles. But I will say that whenever you have a geometry question and it's a weird shape or you're not really sure where to go, remember to open up the reference chart. See if it kind of like jogs your memory about some things. And specifically, we're going to find that those special right triangles come up a lot when we're stumped on geometry questions. So, you know, in this case, they didn't tell us any angles, but sometimes you'll be told, okay, this is 30 degrees, this is 60, this is 45, and that will tell you you probably need to use one of these um, formulas, proportions, whatever you want to call them. Um, so hopefully that helps. Um, not a high priority though. Uh, it, there's so much all else going on in this section that is totally gettable, even if you're not great at math. This is definitely one where you kind of need to be great at math uh, to understand it, but um, if you've gotten everything else, you're still going to get a pretty decent score.